Hello everyone, it's AG and today I will be talking about I Will Not Be Erased by Galdem. First, I would like to thank Walker YA as well as Galdem for sending me this copy. I read this in one go when it came in and I enjoyed it so, so much. For those who don't know, Galdem is a magazine written by women and non-binary people of colour and this book is a short story collection as the title says, Our Stories About Growing Up As People Of Colour. Like I said before, once I picked this up, I could not put it down. And if you are a young person of colour who is struggling with their identity, I would definitely recommend this book. And if you're not, then still pick it up. <laughs> the topics in this collection range from cultural identity and sexuality to self-love and family. I think what really connects these stories besides the fact that they were written by people of colour was the fact that they were written with such brutal honesty, love and empathy for themselves. And I think that that really was where these stories drew their strength from. Most stories were inspired by something that they wrote when they were younger, like a diary entry or a poem. And often they were addressed directly to their younger selves, giving them personal advice. I felt that this writing style was very endearing and it really showed how much they had grown to love and accept themselves. It just goes to show how much more important it is to love yourself than try and attain some sort of standard set by someone else. You will learn how to control your temper and fight back with wisdom and art. But please, don't forget to love yourself along the way. You are so smart, so powerful, and you have so much to offer this world. Don't let insecurities hold you back. There were so many things in this collection that were very relatable to me. You know, growing up as a person of colour in a place where you couldn't be any further away from the standard can really leave you with negative feelings towards your own identity. Some of these stories recount the times that they felt embarrassed because of their hair or their lunch or cultural habits. From the diary entries and the poems, you can really see that most just wanted to fit in and that is extremely hard when you're different. The book also shows how often we both in more subtle and more obvious ways are subjected to prejudice and categorization in the sense that society and people are always trying to confine others into these small-minded spaces. People can look at your skin colour and already decide how you ought to be and ought to behave instead of letting you decide that. What's worse is that when you actually break away from these stereotypes, you're often met with a lot of pushback or even plain erasure. I have struggled with this as well. I have often been called an Oreo, which is a term used to refer to a black person who is black on the outside and somehow white on the inside. Because how could it ever so be possible for a black person to be both intelligent and hardworking without these characteristics being attributed to some whiteness that is laying dormant inside of them? Like there isn't more than one way to be black. I promise you that one thing you must never worry about is your blackness. Black is who you are. It's not about what you wear, the music you listen to or how you speak. There is no right way to be black. Our differences make us beautiful and we must value them. But first, you have to love the skin you're in. So many of these passages carry wisdoms that echo the years of self-discovery of these writers. I just hope that anyone who picks up this book, just like me, can walk away from it with more wisdom and more self-love. Either way, that's everything I have to say with regards to this book. I would love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave them in the comment section and I will see you in the next video.